she really had the strength of a man, I need those not knock cards to be a lot higher. So she's a woman. She's a quitter. She quits. Sometimes you need to just wait. I actually did a video where I was with the very reactionary internet. Transgender, how is someone that's transgender beating up on a woman, blah, 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 blah. Because we all fell for the white girl's tears. White girl cries, says it's unfair, sob story. <laughs> Gosh, she was cheated, all this horrible transgender, boom, boom, boom. Because let me be, be clear right now. Where I stand is, I don't feel that transgender women should be in female spots, no. I feel that transgender women, there should be a transgender category for transgender athletes. Transgender athletes should be allowed to compete 100%, but they should not be allowed to compete with other women. I think that's just wrong. So that's where I stand. So I'm with that, that's transgender women should not be competing in female sports. Imin Khalif is not a transgender woman. She's never been. And do you know what, and do you know what, what the sick thing is? So I was, as I was re researching this, I Google transgender, and all I'm hearing are stories about her, and it's false. <laughs> so the first thing I did when I was like, oh my gosh, she's transgender. Okay, let me look at her history. So I go look at her history. Khalif grew up in a rural village in Tiaret province in northwestern Algeria. She originally played football before switching to boxing. In her early years, she had to commit to a neighboring village to attend training sessions and sold scrap metal to afford the bus fare. She stated that her father initially did not allow her to participate in the sports because he did not approve of boxing for girls. Guys, see, see, my eyesight is not normally that good, so I need to improve my eyesight. So let's play a game. Can you find where it says transgender or he? Let's look. I'm trying to look. Again, if, okay, please, comment below. Comment below where it says, um, if you can comment below, just tell me, where does it say he or transgender? The, 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 you know, it's like, let's find Waldo. So let's try and look for he and transgender. I can't I can see. So, guys, if you can see he or transgender here, please talk to me. So, comment below if you can see either a he or a transgender in this. Because from what I see, oh, so she's a woman. And you see, what the, the tricky thing is, see, he, my thing is, I feel that female combat sports should not happen. That's just me personally. I don't really like to see women fight to other women. Like... I've got like little cousins, like 12, 13, 14. I don't want to see, see them in, in a boxing fight. Now, I don't want to see them be able to defend them, them themselves against any kind of crazy people, but I don't want to see like my little cousins fight against each other. No, like, because you're, you're little girls, you shouldn't have to engage in boxing unless it's for self-defense. As in your life is being threatened, then yes, I want my little cousins to be able to beat the, the crap out of any cr crazy pe people. But yeah, so that's just me. Because she's a woman, but she's a woman that may have, may have particularly high levels of testosterone and she's just different. She's just different from other women, but this is the kicker. This is the kicker and this is what should pretty much end any debate now. Um, this is her, her record. 51 fights, 42 wins. Six by knockouts, nine losses. So, let's apply logic here. If she really had the strength of a man, I need those not knockouts to be a lot higher. If she really had the power of a man, I shouldn't be seeing any else. Okay, maybe, okay, one L by fluke. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine losses? If you have the strength of a man, how, how do you lose nine times? <laughs> if you have the strength of a, of a man out of 51 fights, sorry, if you had the strength of a man, out of your 42 wins, you only had six by knockout? 
sorry, the math doesn't math up. <laughs> it doesn't math up. So, again, with the incidents and people reaction, we've been lied to. No, it's not transgender. Because this is the reality here. She's a quitter. She quits. And what Karine should do is to put forth a public apology because this is what she said after this whole hoopla. So this is what Karini said, the opponent. I'm sorry for my opponent soon. If the IOC said she can fight, I respect that decision. Um, it wasn't something I intended to, to do. Actually, I want to apologize to her and everyone else. I was angry because my Olympics had gone up in smoke. She said that if she met Khalif again, she would embrace her. She, she, she was angry that she lost. She was emotional. I don't want to... I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to expand on that point. I don't want to expand on that point, but just connect the dots. She was emotional. And her emotions got the best of her, and that is what happens. I don't want to expand on that point, but guys, connect the dots there. I'm sorry, Karini... You have to make an, a public a public apology to Khalif, because right now what you have are psychotic right wing people and just super psychos who are saying, "Oh my gosh, how can you allow a man to build up a woman? How can you allow a man? To, this is domestic abuse. This is this is horrible." Um, I'm sorry. If a man is boxing in female sports. And you have six knockouts out of 42 wins. And you've lost nine times. Something doesn't add up there. <laughs> Something doesn't add up there. Because I'm sorry. So I need those knockouts to be in double fakers. I need those knockouts to be like 38. Or 39. <laughs> like, like, like minimum 30. Minimum 30 knockouts there. Because guys, no. If she was a man. I'm, I mean, this was a man. I'm, I'm expecting. <laughs> this was what I'm expecting. I'm expecting Deontay Wilder type knockouts, like where your knockout rate is crazy and the losses that you have are just against super amazing boxers. But I'm expecting you to have a double figures of knockouts, 100%. So, and, and that's because I feel angry because, and I think I've got to learn to do this. Don't go with the crowd. Don't be reactionary. Wait. Wait. Because I think the issue we have to this world, and I fall victim of it. Everyone wants to be first. Everyone wants to be reactionary, and everybody just wants to have that emotional reaction. That's why, because I, I put out a tweet in that, Michael, this is ridiculous. After I learned some more, I, I deleted the tweet. I deleted it. I was wrong. And now, the tweets I have is like, oh, no, no, she, she quit. Was, I was allowed to. I, we, 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 were, we, were I, we were lied to. Like, when you just do more research, that's what you see. And now, when you look at all the tweets right now, guys are like, oh, she quit. She quits, you know, because, you see, now it's a whole different discussion of, like, what makes a woman a woman? This, that. But fact remains. Go and research Iman Khalif. There is nothing about her transitioning, she being transgender. Nope. She's just a woman. That just looks a bit different from other women. And her... What whether it's testosterone, my just levels may just be a bit different, but for sake, forget all that testosterone, this, that different. Her record, that should be once you see her record. See, if we're like in court, this this is the slam dunk evidence. Oh. Okay, no. <laughs> because she only has six knockouts. She's won 42 times, only has six knockouts, and she's lost nine times. She's lost nine times to other women. So what are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? Again, the lesson is wait. Don't go with the psycho internet crowd. Wait until you get true, real confirmation. And Miss Carini, make, not just the, make a public apology to Imane Khalif.